Welcome to Network Africa. I am Amarachi Ubani. So it's finally official. Muhammad Buhari is the president-elect of Nigeria. Following several hours of counting, collation and counting of results, he's been finally declared. He received his certificate uh, just a few hours ago, uh, less than 24 hours after he was declared winner of the 2015 presidential election. The APC candidate and president-elect uh, has received his certificate, as we said. Uh, General Buhari uh, received the certificate flanked by his running mate, Professor Yemi Oshibanjo, who becomes vice president in a matter of weeks. He reeled out his plans and that of his parties to ensure that Nigeria becomes a greater nation. Now, amongst other several promises that he made, General Buhari, Buhari said he will run a transparent and listening government, which will observe the rule of law to thrive and will not allow any sacred cows. He's also promised to work with the international communities such as the AU, ECOWAS and EU to strengthen Nigeria's democracy and move the country forward. Forget our old battles and past grievances and learn to forge ahead. I assure you that our government is one that will listen to and embrace all. I pledge myself and our incoming administration to just and principled governance. There shall be no bias against or favoritism for any Nigerian based on ethnicity, religion, region, gender, or social status. I pledge myself and the government to the rule of law, in which none shall be so above the law that they are not subject to its dictates, and none shall be so below it that they are not availed of its protection. I give special thanks to President Obama of the United States and his family intervention and support for peaceful and credible elections in Nigeria and for Senate Secretary John Kerry and other United States officials. The European Union, especially the United Kingdom, France, Germany, and other nations that were actively involved in ensuring the success of this election are equally appreciated. My sincere thanks to the United Nations Secretary General, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, the Commonwealth, China, India, and other Asian and Gulf states are also hereby appreciated. Finally, our brothers in the African Union and ECOWAS have truly and clearly shown and demonstrated their commitment to our democratization process. Nigeria's President-elect Muhammadu Buhari. And the rest of Africa is pretty much impressed with the conduct of the elections in Nigeria. The congratulatory messages have begun coming in. Ghana's president, who is also chairman of the Economic Community of West African States, Sir John Mahama, has congratulated all political stakeholders, the electoral officials, and the Nigerian people for what he says is their belief and commitment to the strengthening of democracy and good governance. His commendation also goes out to President Goodluck Jonathan, who also who so graciously called the president-elect and congratulated him for his quote political maturity and statesmanship. President Mahama says that the elections are a triumph for the new Africa that is emerging. The opposition in South Africa is also impressed with the conduct of Nigeria's elections. The main opposition, the Democratic Alliance, believes it is significant as it is the first time in Nigeria's history that an opposition party has democratically taken power from a ruling party. The DA's shadow minister of international relations and cooperation, Stephen Smokalapa, said news of the election was welcome and that it, 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 it hopes, quote, that this will be the case for Nigerian general elections to come 
and that other African nations marred by election irregularities can aspire to make this progress in the future. He also says it's a good sign of a maturing democracy and hopes it will continue to be further entrenched in Nigeria and throughout the rest of Africa. Uh, U.S. President Barack Obama has become the first uh, leader in the West to congratulate President-elect Muhammad Buhari uh, following his win at the presidential polls on Saturday. The president sent out a statement in which he said, the world has seen the nation's commitment to dem democratic principles by coming out en masse to cast the pallets. He also commends President Goodluck Jonathan and President-elect Muhammad Buhari for their commitment to non-violence throughout campaigns for the polls. President Goodluck Jonathan is only a few weeks until the handover date, May 29th, and the U.S. President says he looks forward to working with him for the remainder of his tenure. The U.S. President seemed impressed with the conduct of the polls, commending the Independent National Electoral Commission for what he said were extensive efforts to increase the credibility and transparency of the electoral process. But the U.S. President wants the two political leaders to continue to urge their supporters to maintain the peace even in the outcome of the governorship election scheduled for April 11th. That brings us to our first break on the program. More congratulatory messages coming up. Please stay with us. Welcome back to Network Africa. More reactions uh, to the presidential elections in Nigeria being commended all over Africa, as well as the rest of the world. South Africa's President Jacob Zuma has congratulated Nigeria on the successful conduct of the polls. A statement by the spokesperson of the South African Department of International Relations and Cooperation, Clayson Moniela, says President Zuma congratulates the president-elect and that South Africa remains committed to enhancing the historic relations between both countries. And our correspondent in South Africa, Betty Debia, also captured the reactions to the outcome of the elections. Whoever wins, please move Nigeria forward. It's no longer a question of whoever wins. General Mohamed Buhari has won the 2015 presidential election. And according to some observers, so has Nigeria in this process. We went round to get you some reactions. This was the scenario in many Nigerian households in South Africa all through Tuesday. But now the election has been called. I was a bit disappointed because uh, I initially wanted the president, good Lord Jonathan, to continue the the presidency. Buhari has promised a lot. I'm expecting a very big change and especially that you tackle the insurgency in Nigeria. The people, they had so much faith in him and they fought for him to win this election to show that the people are uh, much, much stronger than any party or anything. So he shouldn't disappoint them. The fact that our former president have uh, accepted the defeat, you see, I'm also happy with him because he, he really acted as a man. You see, he acted as a gentleman and uh, he set an example which we should learn, uh, learn from. Well, South Africa, along with the rest of the world, watched the presidential polls and the process with rapt attention. The question was, will Nigeria pull this off with all the challenges? Well, Nigeria has pulled it off and the reviews have been mainly, mostly positive. To get an external expert's view looking inside Nigeria and the challenges ahead, we sought the views of Mr. Stephen Grust of the South African Institute of International Affairs. I think uh, any time an incumbent is defeated at the polls and there's a peaceful transfer of power, that uh, is news uh, in, in some parts of our continent and it's certainly news in Nigeria. I think there was a, a, a big move for change but I'm not sure anybody really expected that that would be what the outcome was. So I think uh, we, we are hopefully going to see a smooth transition of power um, and, and uh, take it forward from there. Any lessons for other African countries? I think with uh, President Goodluck Jonathan conceding, and that's unusual, he phoned uh, Mr. Buhari and he conceded on the phone and he wished him well and he congratulated him, I think is a massive step. And I think that's something that other countries can learn. How do we ensure 
the, the people who elected these politicians ensure that they walk the talk? I think uh, they need to be involved in their civic affairs from right from the uh, sort of municipal, local level. They need to be demanding of the politicians that they've elected. Uh, they need to uh, remind publicly uh, politicians of their promises, so whether that's using the newspapers or radio shows or television. Um, and when things uh, are not going the right way, I think they have to demand better. And you, hopefully it's done in a peaceful way. It's a huge task ahead for the president-elect as he pledges to reach out to all for progress. But as the voice of the people has sounded, so will their eyes be watching closely. From Johannesburg, Betty Dibia, Channels Television News. And the whole world was watching when Nigeria elected uh, Muhammad Buhari as uh, president of Nigeria. Well, Britain's uh, Prime Minister David Cameron has sent his warmest wishes to the new president, congratulating him on being elected. He's commended the conduct of the elections as a credit to the Nigerian people, as this is a truly historic moment for the country's democracy. Uh, his comments are not very far from the British Foreign Secretary, Philip Hammond, who has urged both leaders to ensure peaceful transition of power come May 29th. The British government has commended Nigeria for the conduct of the polls. So Mr. Hammond has congratulated both Mr. Buhari as well as President Goodluck Jonathan for his show of statesmanship, statesmanship beg your pardon, and delivering on his promise of free, fair and credible elections. Both leaders emphasize British's relations with Nigeria and look forward to working with both leaders in deepening ties between both countries. When we come back after the break on Network Africa, President Goodluck Jonathan sends his own congratulatory messages as well as a message for all of Nigeria. Please join us again. <laughs> 